In this video, we will look at ways of making three-phase motors change their direction of rotation and how to install a changeover switch. We are asked how we can do this, how we can make the direction of rotation change. And in this video, we will focus on three-phase direct online motors, often abbreviated to DOL motors. There are two ways of changing the rotation direction. The first is to reconfigure the wiring at the motor terminal blocks. But this method will require the services of a competent electrician. So let's look at what is required. The links in the three-phase motor may be connected at a star configuration as is shown here. To change direction, leave the two links as they are and change any two of the incoming phase wires. Here we have decided to change the positions of the red and yellow wires. You may be working with the brown black grey system of cable colours or you may have all black where they are marked L1, L2, L3. It makes no difference, just swap over any two wires and the job is done. If the motor is configured for delta connections then we can do exactly the same. Leave the links as they are and swap any two incoming phases. This will change the direction of rotation. Just swap any two and leave the third as it is. The second method of changing rotation is to install a changeover switch and this is much more user friendly. The customer does not need to involve an electrician each time the motor needs reversing. The basic drum switch will convert a fixed direction I need an electrician motor into a customer operated device. A drum switch or barrel switch as they are sometimes called will give the customer the options of forwards, off and reverse directions. Normal or existing overload protection, stop start switching etc must be in place to protect the motor. And we have left these off our drawings for clarity. This drawing is typical of a three phase changeover switch. There are many manufacturers and they all seem to have their own preferred styles and connections. Always check the pinouts of any switch that you are unfamiliar with. You cannot tell what the internal connections and crossovers are from the outside. You will need to get your meter out and do continuity checks if you don't have an electrical drawing for that exact switch. We will use our typical switch and the pinouts shown here are just for demonstration in this video. As we said, do check your own switches. The incoming supply in this example comes in on pins 1, 3 and 5 and out to the motor on pins 2, 4 and 6. Other switches are different as you will see. In the off position as shown here, the input pins are not connected to the output pins. There are basically two types of changeover switch configurations which we have called type 1 and type 2 just to distinguish between them. Their switching method and the connections made are completely different. With type 1 switches we can have straight through connections 1 to 2, 3 to 4, 5 to 6 for forwards and for reverse in this switch 1 still goes to 2 but 3 crosses over and goes to 6 whilst 5 crosses over and goes to 4. Notice that the incoming phases L1 in, L2 in and L3 in are all on one side of the switch. And the output wires to the motor L1 out, L2 out and L3 out are all on the other side. When we put the motor in reverse L2 out that goes to the motor has now become the blue phase and L3 out to the motor is the yellow phase. They have crossed over. Type 2 switches work differently. They have straight through connections as before but the changeover of two phases is done by a parallel change not a crossover. One goes to 3 and 2 goes to 4 and this time in our example 5 and 6 remain as a straight through connection. It is very important that we do not wire the switch so that any two live inputs can be connected together. With this example switch L1 in and L3 in can both go to the same side of the switch but L2 in must go to the opposite side of the switch. Look at the drawing 
and you can see why this is. And in the same way, two outputs are on one side of the switch and one output on the other side. In this example, when in reverse, pin 3 or L2 out becomes the red phase and pin 2 or L1 out is the yellow phase. So long as the two phases change over, the motor will turn in the opposite direction. How would we wire the switch to the motor? Let's look at some example arrangements. On the next few slides, we will look at wiring the Type 1 switches and then look at Type 2 switches, as we have called them. Here is a reminder of how they achieve the crossover function. Our Type 1 switches on the left use a crossover arrangement, whereas the Type 2 switches use a parallel arrangement. Keep that in mind and remember that the positions of the wiring is very different for each type. Take the time to have a good look at these differences. In all these slides, nothing is changed at the motor block. All the changes are made at the switch connections. We can begin with Type 1 switches. This is a Type 1 switch in the OFF position. The motor is connected in a star configuration. And as you can see, in the OFF position, there is no path for current to flow from the input side to the motor. In the forward position, all the connections are straight through. L1 input goes to U1 on the motor, L2 to V1 and L3 to W1. Put the motor in reverse and the crossover comes into play. L1 input goes to U1 as before, but L2 is now crossed over and goes to W1, whilst L3 goes to V1 on the motor block. Now look at the same Type 1 switch with the motor configured as a delta connection. Nothing has changed at the switch, but the motor block links are in different positions. Do not alter how these have been set. In the forward position, we have the same supplies to the motor. L1 to U1, L2 to V1 and L3 to W1. And in reverse, L1 to U1 again, L2 crosses over to W1 and L3 crosses over to V1. Just to reiterate, make no changes at the motor block. Leave everything as it was. The switch does all the hard work for you. Take a look at the Type 2 switches now. Remember that the L2 input must be positioned on the opposite side of the switch to the L1 and L3 connections. In the OFF position, look carefully at the positioning of the input cables. L2 input is on the opposite side to L1 and L3. Again, as the switch is off, there is no current flow and this motor block is connected in star configuration. Putting the switch in forward, the switch acts as a straight through connection. In reverse, this Type 2 switch accomplishes the changeover by putting the switch contacts in parallel. In this case, L5 and L6 remain straight through to W1, but now L1 goes to V1 on the motor and L2 goes to U1 on the motor. With the motor block in delta configuration, the Type 2 switch works just the same as in star. Here it is shown in the off position. And here it is in the forward position, all straight through connections. And finally, in the reverse mode, with the switch contacts in the parallel positions. And that is all there is to it. Do take the time to review these drawings, maybe save the video and keep it handy for future reference. One of the best ways to learn this is to find the data sheets for different switches by searching online and then draw out the wiring diagrams for yourself. Then trace the flow of electricity through the circuit. So, we have two options for changing the direction of rotation. A manual change at the motor block or with a changeover switch. Be certain of the switch contact configuration. This may involve continuity testing the contacts, but it is better to be safe than sorry. Check twice, switch on once. The switching arrangements should never allow two incoming phases to be joined across the switch and always follow safe isolation and lock-off procedures on any circuits that you work on. Thank you for watching this video. It is very much appreciated.
Please subscribe to our channel to get access to all of our videos and remember to click on notify to be sure of not missing our next video. Here are some tips on getting even more information and help out of learnelectrics.com. At your web browser, enter learnelectrics.com into the search bar. Select learnelectrics.com from the choices offered and the website, as shown, will open up for you. You now have a couple of choices. You can search for a help item or any video by entering a keyword into the search bar on the right. Click on Return and all the help files and videos with that word in the title will be listed for you. They will be shown with a short description. Click on Continue Reading for more information. Each video listed will have a link shown that will take you directly to that exact YouTube video. Or you can browse through a list of all the available items and videos. To do this, click on the LE logo on the left of the home page and all of our items and videos will be shown. There will be 10 items shown on each page and at the bottom of each page is a page selector. Page 2, 3, 4, etc. that will bring up the next 10 items or videos in the list. And don't forget you can also type in Learn Electrics, all one word, into the YouTube search bar to go directly to our channel at any time from any computer. We are constantly adding new videos to our channel. Don't miss the next one. Once again, thanks for watching and we hope to see you again very soon.